Hi everybody, this is Tom for Tom's Way again. Today we're gonna to repair a Robert's valve, a Bob valve. They pretty much all get repaired the same, so I just brought a one inch in with me. It's very simple to do. You have a cotter pin that's already in. Flatten it out. Pull it out. That releases the arm and also the plunger assembly. Now, if you're replacing the plunger assembly, it's very simple. Just take the new one, slide it in, take the arm, match it up, slide it down, put the cotter pin back in. This one you can do without even taking the float valve off of the tank that it's mounted on or whatever. It, it, it's that simple. Once it's in, bend the end over so it doesn't come out. That's how simple it is, just to replace the plunger. If you're gonna do just the seals and just the plunger on the end of it, it's a little bit more complicated. You are gonna actually take the plunger off the bottom of this and take the seal off of here. This just pops out. If you got fingernails, it ain't too bad. If you don't, a small screwdriver or pocket knife will take care of it. And this one's the same way. Now, this will peel right off. Just take the new one. Put it over. Same thing on this end. Now, I actually put, I'm putting Viton on this one, mainly because that's the kit I grabbed. But if you're using hot water, or a, you know, a little harsher chemical or something like that, you want that in there anyway. And just take the seat and put it down in place. Then it's just a matter of getting the arm again, taking the plunger assembly, putting it in, putting the arm on it, and putting the cotter pin back in it. Now all of these kits, whether it's a plunger kit or it's a seal kit, all come with a new cotter pin. Do yourself a favor, don't try to reuse the old one. Bend it over a little bit, we just fix the float valve. Now the reason you're gonna fix these is because they're leaking, not shutting off completely. Now, you come in in the morning, your tank's overflowing, that's a pretty good determination that it is leaking. So now you just, you have got have it fixed, you're done. This takes a grand total of about two minutes, whether you're putting in the kit or whether you're putting in the new plunger. Simple and easy. Cost effective, it's a lot cheaper to fix it than it is to buy it. This is one time that I will actually advise you to fix something. Buying a kit and fixing it, then I would just say, you know, Throw it out and get another one. Clean up.